Lesson 16.4b, Making a Dot Plot. Statistical questions are answered by collecting and analyzing data. One way to do this is by making a visual display, such as a dot plot. And a dot plot is a visual display in which each piece of data is represented by a dot above a number line. A dot plot shows the frequency of each data value. We can quickly compare the values. Here's a dot plot of pets owned by some friends, and we can see that most of the friends have zero, one, or two pets. No one has four pets, and only one person has five pets. So the frequency of a data value is how often that value occurs in the data set. The frequency of owning one pet is four. The distribution of a data set shows the spread of the values. The distribution shows zero to five pets are owned with most being two or less. So let's try making a dot plot. It's telling us a coach records the time in seconds that some sixth graders run 50 meters. Use the data to make a dot plot. So here's the time in seconds that these sixth graders were able to run 50 meters. The first thing we do is make a number line. The values range from 9 to 15. So our number line is going to go from 9 to 15. Then we draw a dot above the number line for each data value as one data point. So we have a 12. So I'm going to cross that off and put a dot for the 12. We have another 12. We have a 10, we have a 14, we have a 9, we have another 12, we have an 11, a 10, a 15, another 12, another 11, and 13. This is our dot plot for the students who ran 50 meters and in these seconds. We have the title of our dot plot underneath the number line. Now that we have our dot plot completed, we can reflect on the information. So how many students ran? How can we know that? Well, we had the data values and one dot represented each student running, we can count the dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 students ran and were timed. So how many students ran faster than 12 seconds? Well, here's 12 seconds, and it says ran faster than 12 seconds. So that would be this group, because that's faster than 12 seconds. We count them. There's five we know five students ran faster than 12 seconds. And which data value has the greatest frequency? We look for the number that has the most dots. It would be 12. 12 seconds was the greatest frequency. Comparing a dot plot to a box plot, well, they're similar because they both use a number line and show numerical data and both show the distribution of the data. And they're different because a dot plot shows every data value and a box plot doesn't show every data value. We're finished with the second part of the lesson. We're going to move on to the third part, interpreting a dot plot. We're going to talk about outliers. Have a wonderful day and please join me for the third part of the lesson. Bye.